So we're going to talk about discrimination that transgenders go through on their everyday lives. Um, and I can relate to this because I have a lot of friends that are transgenders and I actually grew up with a family member that's a transgender. So I've seen it all from people being mean to people stereotyping him and bullying him because of who he chose to be. So a transgender is a person whose sense of personal identity and gender does not correspond to their birth sex. So it's someone that was born let's say I was born as a girl but I wasn't happy with who I am so I choose to change everything about me my appearance everything absolutely everything and become a guy um, if that's what makes me happy and that's what's gonna make me have a happier life why not I don't see a problem with transgenders I think people just lack of knowledge and don't actually take the time to understand the community um, so there's a couple of articles that I've read. One of them is called Understanding the Trans Community, and it talks and it lists a couple of challenges that transgenders go through. Uh, one of the challenges they go through is lack of protection. Um, their rights are not protected like my rights are. So some of them actually have a hard time getting a job because employees are so biased against hiring a transgender because they think that that is the worst thing you could ever do and it's a disgrace. So they can get jobs. Some of them don't get hired. Somebody could have the qualifications exact for the job. They could be the perfect candidate for the job and they still wouldn't get hired because they're a transgender. So that's where that lack of protection comes in place because they don't protect their rights against discrimination against them. Like me, if I was discriminated for being a female and not getting a job because I was a female, then I could probably sue them for discrimination, but transgenders kind of don't have that right any like they don't have that right. So with that being said, them not being able to get a job is causing a lot of poverty. And it says on this article that 15% of them actually don't have a job or have a hard time getting a job. And even if they have a job, they get mistreated at work because of their gender identity. There's also another article written by American Association for Justice. And it was written in October 2016 by Elizabeth Schwartz. And it kind of talks about how they face discrimination and how far it's gone. So it says that 47% of them face discrimination at work, outside of work, or at school. So um, I've seen it. I grew up with a family member that's a transgender. And every time we would go out to a store, maybe Walmart or something, there was always someone that was judgy because of the way he looked, because of the way he talked, and they didn't they didn't hesitate to make a comment about it or be mean about it, even in public. Um, so that's when the hate came out, and they would just be hateful to him for no reason. I mean, he wasn't doing anything. He wasn't affecting anyone, but somehow they thought that they needed to say something mean to hurt his feelings and make sure that he knew that they didn't approve of who he was choosing to be, which I think that that's a huge issue because that's bullying. You don't want your kid to not want to go to school because he's going to get bullied because he wants to be someone that he feels he needs to be. Um, so even at school, when we were at school, he would get bullied because of the way he acted or maybe he wanted to sit with the girls and not the guys or maybe he wanted to do girls hairs or maybe he wanted to talk about magazines or something like that and then all the guys will be just judgy and start their comments and you know racism kind of thing almost because they just stereotyped him and they thought that it was the worst thing ever and that's because they grew up in a household where it was implied that you should not be a transgender and you should not change who God made you to be. But I feel like if that's what makes them happy, then why should you care? Why not just let that person be happy instead of being hateful? I mean, we're all here to love each other and being hateful to someone is not going to make you a better person and it's not going to make them 
not be a transgender because they already chose that and they know who they want to be. Um, it also says that 78% of them uh, deal with harassment and mistreatment. Um, so I do have examples of that as well. Um, my cousin was going to the bathroom. Um, and he was going to the male's bathroom, you know, and there was a, a guy that was being mean to him because he didn't want a transgender in the guy's bathroom because he thought that he was going to go in there and just check the guys out and um, it made him feel uncomfortable. So he threw a fit about it, didn't want him to go in the bathroom. Um, it was the most embarrassing thing and the most childish things I ever seen. Um, I mean, what was he supposed to go? Like, they make a they make a big deal about transgenders using the girls bathrooms or using the guys bathrooms once they're a transgender. But before that, they can't even use the right bathroom um, because they feel some type of way or they feel uncomfortable or whatever the case might be so I think that they have to deal with a lot on the daily and they face comments and they face harassment and mistreatment at jobs because of who they are and because the way they want to be and I don't think it should be like that I think that as long as they're not affecting anyone or doing any harm that I, people should just be happy for them um, I also read another article on the on this website called The Conversation, and it was written in November 6, 2018, and it talks about how there has been a little progress about transgenders because they have been doing a lot of campaigns, walks, protests, because they want to be treated equally, and I feel like this is fair because we shouldn't treat somebody differently just because of who they chose to be or because they have different beliefs and they have different things they want to do because if that was the case then this world would be chaotic um so they do have to deal with a lot of discrimination at work outside of work at school or even at the stores and i think that people should probably educate themselves a little better and maybe try and understand their community a little more because you just hurt their feelings and being hateful is not going to make you a better person